Hey everybody, Paul Beats, Paul Beats Horsemanship. Thanks for another episode. Uh, this is a filly. Uh, we talked a lot about, again, the reason we're doing these videos is the way we've been so blessed in our lives to achieve the things we've had, work around the people we've had. And my daughter, years ago, the plan was to homeschool be a family. And she did so much better in school. We, did, uh, we decided we needed to stay home a little more for her education. So A, I get to travel less than I used to. I'm um, still blessed to do some privates and work with a lot of people, work with everybody from backyard people to professionals to dressage people and share those stories and education. Now, a lot of you never met me, never seen me, um, might not even know about me and have to go along with this. So when I was a child, I was able to meet some great friends and work for them and with them and have them help me along the way. And for the for the person at home who doesn't have the money to come to a clinic, whose parents may not be able to send them, this is a way to give back. Again, coming from mostly my mom raising me, um, kind of a one parent income that was hard for us. So this is just a way to get back to you and hopefully maybe one day even have ads paid for us rather than you. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. It does help the algorithms and it helps they give to other people. Now this filly, like I said, uh, we talk a lot about not only just horses but investment in in our religion and our finances and everything and how that helps over time. And keeping the balance and unfortunately our life um, we planned on working these a little more we've had some major accidents in the last year so they're way behind but it's nice because now that we've started doing these videos you get a chance to see it from the beginning so god's plan not always one she's never heard this speaker before um we've worked her maybe once or twice enough to kind of lead her around um and start kind of getting her work to to do some little things, but we haven't had the chance, and hopefully pretty soon we'll, we will do some uh, trail loading, because we had a fire, and my major concern, I was in Europe, they had never, they got in the trailer, but it, it took some work, and they hadn't been working much since, so she's going to be a little busy, so we're going to just kind of turn her loose while we visit, so we don't encourage her to leave us mentally as the horses are running around back in the pins back there. Um, that way we can talk and we'll, we'll kind of move around and kind of get our attention but for now she's going to be kind of somewhere else and she might have even though she's been kind of in a turnout pen. Again now she's all alone so she may get a little lonely and right now she's just kind of having to get some of that energy up. So she wasn't too bad to lead over here and with some confines, sometimes I'll help her out. But right now I want her to work at it. And again, it's because she's a baby. She doesn't have to be running here. But her feet are getting kind of long and we do want to work on her feet. But it's a great way here to stand to kind of trim her feet too. And kind of let her work out some of the energy. Now we'll just step back. I don't want to get run over though. And we just kind of wanted to see where the mind went. We're not going to do a whole lot of work with her yet. We're just letting her move out. I won't let her kind of... Here she's kind of pushing on me through the gate. So I don't want to rush her too much. And she chose to kind of what I call run me over. She pushed through here because the gate's here. So we're seeing where her mind is at. And the thoughts of maybe running me over or jumping the fence right there. And we wouldn't want to put too much pressure on. This is a nice high fence, so the chances of her jumping out are slim. But we're just aware of that. And she can use that energy, but I'm still guiding that energy somewhat. Just like when I backed up, it kind of drew her mind here. Now I'm going to see what she does. And see, she's going to push through here through this gap. So I was, I just would make it difficult. I'm not going to make it impossible, but I don't like her kind of pushing through here. 
because if there was some energy here, again, I'm not making it hard. Just it. There she thought about maybe even slowing up. Again, I don't want her stopping kind of at the gate, so if she does, she can go the other way. We might have to make the gate a little more difficult there. She's like, oh, it's easy to come this way because the gate's over there. But now we can go back the way we were going. Want her to move her feet. There, she kind of missed her hind lead. We're aware of that, but her mind's all over the place. So working on balance and really intricacy, right now there she missed her lead altogether. Working on the intricacies, while her mind is somewhere completely else, would be redundant, because she's not thinking mainly of us and wouldn't be learning much, because she's somewhere else. There her mind kind of came back to me for a second, but now it's gone. That's good, because she's going to be really busy here mentally. So she might start looking at me for a friend a little bit. But i got to be careful, because that energy and her friends running around back there in the turnout might run me over, too. But, and then I'd leave her. And then if she chooses not to come, I could help her to go. Right there, I don't want to be run over. come back this way. Now if she doesn't go there, I'll put a little drive, and then if she comes to me, I'll draw. It's a little abrupt the way it goes, and a little pushy here. So I want her to wait just a little bit. There, good. That had a little more feel to it the way she was walking. Again, I'll come in here. And now she's not paying attention, so I wouldn't surprise her. I might have a little noise. And then if she wants to leave mentally, I'll help her to go next. Now, I kind of lost her on that right side. So I'd like to send her back to the right, not the left there when she left. But again, I'm not going to be picky. I'd like her to reach out and back and yield away. Out of my space, respecting my space. But now we want to go right. Instead of left. Okay. And then I release. I'll let her go a little bit. If she rolls right back in, that's okay, because I want her good to catch and want her to want to be with me. If she leaves, I'm not going to pet her. Mentally, she's somewhere else. Let's see if I could draw that mind back to me. When her mind's on me, I'll pet her. And I'd like her to reach out and back. And I'd like to send her to the right a little bit, get her to move out to the right a little bit. I want her to hook on right away this time. Now there, I was a little late hooking her on. So if she would have waited, I would have pet her. I just changed directions though again, because I was way late. Once she squared up, I would just be sending her, what I call sending her through her body. Her body's in the way. So I might as well prepare her a little bit and give her a little time to make it, because I was late. There, she missed her hind lead, so we'll let her slow to the trot. And we'll move her out again. Again, I open my leading hand there to send her out. I lift my lead, and then if she doesn't go, I drive her. There, I was better in time. Now, she asked to come in, and that was nice. So I said, hey, just keep going. I'm not quite ready yet. Don't turn into the fence there. Getting ready to hook her on. Now she's kind of back towards the turnout there, so I'd see if her mind would come to me. There we go. And there she left as I reached for her, so I wouldn't reach for her. I'll send her out again. She's a little better going to the left than the right. So again, I'd step off to that right side to check her out and see if she could stay. Because that was the side she got stuck last time. thought about leaving and then decided to come back. So it's not great. There she left again. So rather than, now I don't have a lead rope to make her stay, I just leave. And then if she got stuck, I could send her out again. So we use her. If she wants to be with us, we'll help her by taking pressure off and petting her. 
but if she wants to be somewhere else, we'll help her to leave by driving her off. So we make the wrong thing difficult and the right thing easy. When she leaves, we leave. And it's her choice whether to come with us or not, but she's not a prisoner. That's not the goal. And it's a good start. She doesn't have to be perfect today, but it's a good place to start. At least she's starting to think of me a little more than being out with her friends. So again, reminder, can't do too much petting. I don't talk about that on the third day. But just a reminder, if you like the video, please like and share with others. This is a start. We'll go on and do another few things and a couple extra videos after that. Happy trails. Enjoy the journey.